Got the move on here. Going to talk about quest planning and and redoing saga. So I'm going to kind of talk about that. So and, and so right now I am level eight and I've been doing quests at one level above. And so I have done all the level seven quests I wanted to do, and I have enough experience to go up to level eight. So that that's good. Um, so I mean, I'm sorry, go up to level nine. Uh, and then I have a full plate of, of quests that I want to do, uh, level 8 quests that I want to do at level 9. So, um, and that's great. But then when we go down to um, level 9, when I hit level 9, what quest do I want to do on level 10? I, there really isn't too much. Uh, there is only one free level 10 quest. I'm sorry, level 9 quest. Uh, the Church and the Cult. Uh, that's free to play. And the other level 9 quests I'm not a real fan of um, for a variety of reasons. Those are all in uh, packs, um, and so I'm not really that interested. And the only level 9 quest I'm really planning to do besides the, the church and the cult is the Shadow Crypt. So, so that, that's a huge problem. How, how am I going to get enough experience to level up if I only have two quests that I want to do at that level. And the answer to that is I'm going to run old quests at higher level difficulty. So I'm looking right now, I am in the Kenneth Crystal, as you can see right here. Uh, it's a level one quest, and uh, I am level, at level one quest, I'm doing it at hard. And I am level eight, so I am six levels above that. And because I'm six levels above that, I get a 99% uh, experience penalty so so uh, instead of doing getting 232 XP I'm only gonna get 3 XP okay but now the good news is as this is the first time I'm doing hard I get a 40% back uh, bonus and then we have you know this is the first time you know persistence and flawless death and then this is the daily playthrough this is the first time I've done this quest I get another 20% so I'm going to end up when I complete this quest of getting 187 XP um, instead of 232 so you know it's 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 187 is not great but it's a real quick quest and it's a lot better than nothing if I wait until I am uh, level 9 to do this quest and I do it I get zero XP, period. Um, all these bonuses don't really matter. So I would get zero XP. So I really want to do all my level one quests on hard that I can. I want to get them now. So if I do them later, I do them. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, now, so for hard, I get a 40% experience bonus. For elite, first time I do it on elite, I get a 75% experience bonus. So, um, so yeah, you know, with all the other bonuses, I'm, you know, some, even if I were to do, you know, this quest, um, see on elite, I, I would get if I do this, finish this quest, and I run it back again on elite, uh, I would I would suffer a ninety five percent bone my uh, penalty, um, but with the seventy five percent elite, I'm pretty close to what I would make normally for doing this quest. So, so that's what I'm gonna be doing now. The advantage, one another advantage of doing. These old quests, I mean, it's, they're, they're very quick. I'm just going to blow right through them. Um, is terms of favor, um, I, you know, favor is always good. I'm at 309 favor. Uh, when I get to 400, I will be unlocked drow, which I've already unlocked on the server. Um, but, you know, the, the big thing is um, I want to continue to get quests uh, like uh Free agents, um, 150 is very nice in terms of it's going to be uh, a locks. I can buy plus four lock pits, um, coin loids. If I get to 150, I want to get there so that uh, I can get a fifth inventory tab. I also have to get a port, uh, a hole, uh, a hold in order to be able to do that. Um, I'll be getting that through the giant hold uh, quest uh, venture pack. So. And then there's others that, you know, House Kundaric, I, I get a second bank tab if I get to 75. Uh, House Fjarland allows me to will cast spells on me that will last for 30 minutes. Not a big advantage for um, 
uh, for a wizard. But you know, for if I was a non-spell caster, that would be huge. So I'm really going to be going through and building up my favor. So I'm not going to record these adventures. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take this. So I'm, I mentioned Saga. I was going to talk about that. I, I hadn't really done Sagas before. I didn't know what to do. So what happens when you get that Saga, when I complete that Saga and I got that, that tome, everything at that point resets. Um, so it just, the, 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 the Saga giver forgets all the quests I have done. And I have to do ten those ten quests for that saga all over again. And what level I do it at is completely independent of the level I did before. Now I'm going to be doing those again. I'll be doing those on hard level. Um, and when I do that, I'll be able to get uh, a, a more tomes. I'll have a choice of more tomes. So I won't, you know, I won't have the bad luck of having to choose heal again. But, you know, that's kind of at one point that's what I was thinking of is that I'd be doing here. So but what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be, um, as I'm going to be, I've got enough experience here, I'm just going to bank here as much as I can, be doing these low-level quests um, on hard and elite to, to get the experience because they're, they're generally very fast quests, easy way to get um, favor. Um, they're also, a lot of these are coin lords and free agents which are um, the guys I really kind of want to have uh, more favor in. And so that's that. Um, like I said, I'm not going to bother the recorder because I've already showed you how to do it. And so that's the end of this discussion.